I went to the beach and I collected all these beautiful smooth rocks and I wanted to show how to paint a fairy house on a rock and these are the paints that I use. I usually use the folk art acrylic and especially the color shift ones I really like. So I'm going to start by painting the rock yellow. I had one of the kids in my class paint a fairy house yellow and it just looked so great. She chose the color and I never would think of that as being a good color for a fairy house but it looked so great so I thought I'd try yellow on this so I'm using the color shift yellow. It's kind of a pale yellow and what I like about these paints is they look they reflect different colors in different light so they have a kind of a magical quality to them and as usual I use my hands to smooth out the paints and then I have to let them dry they dry really quickly I put them in front of a fan and there it is it's dry and I'm gonna use this beautiful blue color for the door I'm going to make one of those doors that's kind of roundish and then I'm going to put the planks in to make it more realistic looking and hobbit door that's probably what it's called a hobbit door so I saw a picture what I did first was I looked up pictures of rocks painted like fairy houses and I sort of decided what I liked the best so this was one of the things that I saw that I really liked was this rounded door. Now once that dries I'm putting on the highlighting so I'm going to make these white stripes and then I'm going to blend those together And I'm just going to do it by just putting a little bit of water next to it, or the blue actually. And it works really, really well. It takes a couple of passes, but it doesn't really doesn't take a lot of work to do it. So I'm just blending right now the white with a blue. And I like having just kind of a highlight of the white and it's a little too white so I'm gonna add a little bit more blue to it. So once all that blue is added in and I just have kind of a nice little white highlight on there I'm gonna let, let that dry and I'm using a nice gold that's also the folk art paints and I'm going to paint the border around the door in the metallic gold, which I really love the way this looks. And it's always good to let the paints dry in between each layer. So they do dry really fast. Acrylics dry really fast. And in case if you didn't know, you should never let your paints dry on the brush. Now I'm mixing up a window color and I'm going to paint two squares on either side for the windows. And I'm just using regular acrylic colors there. Those are not metallics. I didn't really have a good color for a window color. I kind of want it to look like the light was on inside of the house so that's why I was using that kind of a light yellowish orangey color, peachy color. So I'm gonna paint in the grass next and I'm totally winging this. I didn't do a sketch or anything like that. I'm just sort of making it up as I go 
So, one of the things I love about these rocks, well, of course, it's super smooth because it's from the ocean, but so it's really fun to paint on it. But um, I, I really like just kind of seeing what happens when I paint on these. I, I knew I was going to paint a fairy house, but I didn't know exactly what I would have it look like. Now, this is a paint marker, and I'm going to draw the window panes with a paint marker. And these are permanent paints. They're like enamel or something. I, I don't even know what exactly these are made up of, but I've never tried these outside. I've tried the paints outside, and I have a couple ceramic mushrooms that I made that I painted with these paints, and I've had them outside even in the winter for about six years, and they have never even faded. <laughs> so these paints hold up really well outside, even if you leave it out all winter. So I'm finishing up the window panes here, and after you do that, if you do use the paint marker, I just clean off the tip of the marker on a piece of paper just to make sure that I don't have any paint left on the tip of the marker. And I also drew a circle for the doorknob and I'm going to paint that doorknob gold as well. And I'm loving the way that's looking. I'm going to let all of that dry. And next I'm going to paint a little vine going around the door. And I love the way this looks. I ended up later on, I don't have it in the video, but I ended up painting over this part to make the roof a little bit longer. And you'll see it in the photos where I have my rock in its environment. <laughs> In my garden but I actually wish I hadn't done that once I did it because I really liked the way this looked better so I ended up cutting that part out because I just thought this looked so sweet with the vine and the little pink flowers around the door and then I did a small roof which is this right here a purple metallic roof and you'll see in the photos of the house in the garden, well, you might not even notice it, but I ended up painting over that cute little vine around the door, but they look so cute anyway. Look at them out in the garden. Hope you try it. It's so much fun.